G'day everybody and welcome to another YouTube video review. Today we're going to be having a look at the Bantha and Tuscan Raider set that came out from uh, Kenner in about 1996 I think um, from uh, reading the box. Uh, picked this guy or picked the Bantha and the Tuscan Raider up from a guy who sort of lived nearby me selling off his collectibles, selling off a bit of his collection so I was quite uh, happy to add this one to mine. So before we have a real good hard look at the, uh, the figure have a quick look at the back of the box there for you so Basically it's just telling you about the Bantha, the huge shaggy beast and how they were found on Tantooine and the Tusken Raiders used to ride them around. Uh, peace loving herbivores that survive for weeks without food or water, making them perfect pack animal for the infamous sand people. And there you can see down there the, uh, the figure in action in the movie, saying that its height's over 4 metres and its characteristics were large and unintelligent pack beast. And you can see some of the other figures there, the Rancor. But anyway, let's have a look at the figure. So straight away, she's quite an imposing uh, beast. You can see from the front there, you can get the mouth. And then we have the two eyes on the side covered with this hair. Really fantastic. So I don't know what animal or, or you know human donated their hair to make this thing, but uh, it really is a, a very authentic, 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 I'll spit it out, uh, piece. Then you've got the sand uh, person on top. Actually, really well done this one. They're quite articulated in the hips and the knees, which allows them to actually sit well on the uh, the actual figure, the Bantha, uh, compared to some of the others that you see that the legs, because they're straight, they don't really bend over. So you've got the uh, the back there, or the, the sort of the padding that's going over the top of the Bantha. That's actually uh, plastic but uh, gives that look of uh, sort of a fake leather, a real leather. And you've got the baggage there, the baggage handing down. And then we're spinning it around. You can see the large horns coming out of the head that curl around. Uh, really is a, a fantastic uh, figure in the Star Wars universe. Has the tail there. You can actually move the front legs. Um, they are rotating. You can move them forward and backwards to maybe get it in a walking position. But I just have mine in the, in the standing position. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed that quick glimpse if you're looking at adding to your collection. Uh, stay around, we're doing a review on a few Mighty Mugs for you and uh, a few sort of Star Wars books in the background there. So anyway, thanks for watching. Keep subscribing. Cheers.